Gyotaku is an art form that originated in Japan in the 1800s. It translates to fish rub, gyo, which means fish, taku, which means rubbing. Uh, and it was in a way for the Japanese fishermen to record their catches without the use of photography or film. My name is Nainoa Calvo. I'm a spear fisherman and a gyotaku artist living on the big island of Hawaii. Like any art form, Gyotaku is about honoring a process. It's about the process that you go through to hunt, to harvest, and to take care of your catch. And that's why I love Gyotaku so much because it requires so much attention to detail and just respect for what you're doing. Nice, Joe. To me, Gyotaku is about preserving the stoke of the moment. So you're not like globbing it on there, definitely. Like being very yeah. intentional about. Yeah, I try to get it all on first, and then I like, if I see one area has a little more than another. Then I'll like hit it with some more paint or I'll take away paint. You know, the satisfaction of being able to provide for your family and friends. I love to share in that moment and I live to, you know, make it tangible so that you can pass by in your house and Ooh, always remember the that. time, who you're with. Kind of take off some of the water. Yeah. Oh, that came out good too. <laughs> that worked out. Yotaku is awesome because I get into this flow state. Same thing with diving. I get in this flow state where I don't have to worry about the pressures of the world. I love making these prints because it's a way of capturing stories and moments that are really special to me. You know, the ocean is very special to me and it's special to a lot of people and it's awe-inspiring and so beautiful. And it's so beautiful in fact that I feel like sometimes it's an insurmountable task to try and recapture the beauty of it. But I just think that it's important that whether you're some professional artist that's really great at gyotaku with realism, or you're just a guy that's in his garage just trying to figure it out for yourself, um, it doesn't matter, you know, your art is your art. And if you put 100% into it and you love the way it looks, then it's awesome art. being out on the ocean and you know, sitting on the surface and knowing that there's something beneath me that's going to surprise me or inspire me or provide food for me and my family and it's just an addicting feeling knowing that down there is something that you know not many people get to see and it's something I'm blessed to be like immersed in. You know growing up as a Pacific Islander you feel very tied to the ocean you, know, you feel very immersed in your culture connected to your ancestors you know, I feel very connected to my papa when I'm out there I feel like he's watching me and being out in the ocean is just a way for me to feel part of something so much bigger than myself and Yotaku is just an extension of that love for the ocean that I've taken you know I can make it unique make it to myself something that I enjoy and then make it tangible so it's not just memories in my head of you know beautiful times that I got to spend with my grandfather it's something that I can see and I can touch Funniest thing too is like everybody always asks, hey, what do you do with the fish after you paint it? I eat it. I eat all the fish I paint. Um, 
it's just funny because my tutu would always be like, oh, we can't eat the fish in the fridge yet. And I know I never painted it yet, so we got to wait. So it's, I just, I'm just obsessed with fish and obsessed with eating fish. 